हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मिस्टर नरेंद्र जंगले फ्रॉम गोखले एजुकेशन सोसाइटीज आर एम बट हाई स्कूल परेल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी क्लास टेंथ मैथ्स पार्ट टू फर्स्ट चैप्टर सिमिलरिटी फ्रॉम दैट चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी प्रैक्टिस सेट 1.1 पॉइंट वन दैट प्रैक्टिस सेट वन पॉइंट वन इज बेस्ड ऑन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एरियाज ऑफ टू ट्राइंगल्स सो फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज रेशो ऑफ एरियाज ऑफ टू ट्राइंगल्स इज इक्वल टू द रेशो ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ देर बेसिस एंड द करस्पोंडिंग हाइट्स सेकेंड प्रॉपर्टी रेशो ऑफ एरियाज ऑफ टू ट्राइंगल्स विथ इक्वल हाइट्स इज इक्वल टू द रेशो ऑफ देयर करस्पोंडिंग बेसिस एंड द थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी रेशो ऑफ एरियाज ऑफ टू ट्राइंगल्स विथ इक्वल बेसिस इज इक्वल टू द रेशो ऑफ देयर करस्पोंडिंग हाइट्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी प्रैक्टिस सेट 1.1 पॉइंट वन फ्रॉम फर्स्ट चैप्टर सिमिलरिटी यू नो दिस प्रैक्टिस सेट इज बेस्ड ऑन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एरियाज ऑफ टू ट्राइंगल्स द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी is the ratio of areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of the product of base and the corresponding height second property we see in the previous slide that is ratio of areas of two triangles with equal height is equal to the ratio of their corresponding bases and if equal bases then the ratio is equal to ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of their corresponding heights so let us see first sum from this chapter so in this first sum what is given base of a triangle is 9 base of one of the triangle is 9 and height is 5 and base of another triangle is 10 and the height is 6 find the ratio of areas of those triangles now while finding the ratio here names of the triangles are not given so let the triangles triangle 1 and triangle 2 let the given triangles be triangle 1 and triangle now let the base and height of triangle 1 as b1 and h1 let the height sorry base and height of triangle 1 be b1 and h1 respectively similarly base and height of triangle 2 b b2 and h2 respectively so the heights of the triangles so for triangle 1 so here for triangle 1 what is given for triangle 1 b1 is equal to base 9 h1 is equal to height 5 for triangle 2 b1 is equal to 10 and sorry b2 not a b1 and h2 is equal to 6 now what we have to find ratio of their areas so area of triangle 1 divided by area of triangle 2 is equal to what property we have to use first property if two triangles are given then the ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of product of their base and the corresponding height that means b1 into h1 divided by b2 into h2 here we have to write that statement of the property 
ratio of areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of product of base and corresponding heights so this is the reason now substitute the values here b1 is 9 into h1 is 5 b2 is 10 and h2 is 6 so here 5 ones are 5 two za and here 3 two za and 3 three, three za so we get 3 into 1 3 and 2 two za 4 and therefore area of triangle 1 divided by area of triangle 2 is equal to 3 by 4 means we can write the answer ratio of their areas ratio of the areas of triangles is equal to 3 upon 4 so in this way this first sum is based on the first property ratio of areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of product of their base and the corresponding height so in this way we can use that simple properties now let us see next sum so friends here it is the second sum from practice set 1.1 one figure is given in this figure this bc is perpendicular to ab and ad is also perpendicular to ab if we observe triangle abc it is right angle triangle in right angle triangle one perpendicular side is base other is height and triangle dab or adb is also a right angle triangle one perpendicular side is base and other is height so suppose this is height so it is this h1 and h2 this is the common base you know the property the ratio of areas of two triangles with common base or equal base is equal to the ratio of their corresponding heights so here we have to use that property directly so here what is given in triangle abc and triangle adb first write the given thing bc is equal to 4 ad is equal to 8 now either write the property first and then use or write the statement and write the reason as a property therefore area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle adb is equal to this observe this figure here this is the common base therefore this is the height for abc and this is the height for adb that means bc upon ad ratio of the triangles ratio of areas of the triangles with equal base having equal base is equal to the ratio of their corresponding heights so here we have to write the reason the ratio of areas of triangles with equal base third property is equal to the ratio of their corresponding heights so here it is the reason so either we can write instead of writing the whole property you can write the short reason also here instead of this 
directly we can write triangles of equal bases so this becomes easier to write this property the meaning is both you can write the both properties that depends on you so directly we can write shortly the reason the triangles of equal bases therefore the uh, ratio of their area is equal to ratio of their corresponding heights now substitute the value of that bc triangle area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle adb is equal to bc is given 4 and ad is given 8 so we get 4 1s are 4 2s are that means area of triangle abc upon area of triangle adb is equal to 1 upon 2 so write the final answer always in a box so here in this way we use that third property ratio of areas of two triangles having or equal with equal base is equal to the ratio of their corresponding heights or we can write the reason directly triangles of equal bases so let us see next sum hello here it is the third sum if we observe the figure in this figure only one triangle is given triangle PQR now you, we can find the area of this triangle PQR using two ways if we consider this QR as the base then PS as a height if we take QR base then PS height and if we take PR base then QT is the height so here we can write area of triangle PQR is equal to either this half into QR into PS or area of triangle PQR is equal to half into base PR into height QT. Now you know the ratio of this two triangles ratio take the ratio ratio of areas of two triangles therefore area of triangle pqr divided by area of triangle pqr this half half get cancelled you know that first property ratio of areas of two triangles is equal to the product of base and the corresponding height the product of ratio of base and the corresponding heights so this property is used here now this pqr pqr get cancelled means this ratio is 1 is equal to substitute the value qr is given 6 multiplied by ps is given uh, 6 and divided by pr is given 12 and find qt so here simplify 6 1s are 6 2s are this is the first simplification so we get 1 is equal to 6 divided by 2 into qt so 2 1s are 2 3s are so we get 1 is equal to 3 upon qt and therefore qt by cross multiplication this is 1 is equal to 3 units so here units are not given therefore we can write 3 units so in this way we can use here second method is also there we can use directly area of triangle find this area and find this area both areas are equal so second method is using this formula find the area of triangle pqr Suppose this is so and so. So here half into QR into PS. So QR is 6. 6, 6 are 36. It is 18. 18. Now PQR again it is 18. Half into PR. So here we get 6. So here QT is 3. So we can use that method also. You can use any method. But it is mathematically correct. So 
this is the third sum let us see next sum so let us see one more sum from this exercise or practice set 1.1 sum number 4 in figure if we observe this figure this two lines AD and BC are parallel whenever two lines are parallel the perpendicular distance everywhere here 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 everywhere the perpendicular distance is equal now AP perpendicular BC so for ABC BC is the base and AP is the height for triangle BCD this BC is the base and again this one is the height of that triangle if we draw the height then height is here but this height and this height are same so these two triangles having the common base and the common height common base and the common heights and therefore their areas are equal now how to write area of triangle ABC is equal to half into BC into AP by the formula of area of triangle second thing area of triangle BCD again is equal to half into base is common here BC and height is again common this one or this one AP now if we write the area area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle BCD is equal to half into BC into AP divided by half into BC into AP get cancelled therefore area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle BCD is equal to 1 by 1 therefore their ratio we have to write in this form area of triangle ABC sorry, is to area of triangle BCD is equal to 1 is to 1 so in this way we get the ratio is equal to 1 is to 1 so here we see 4 sums from this practice set 1.1 if you have any doubt then you can write in the comment box if you need more sums from this chapter then you can write in the comment box and dear students if you like my videos please press the like button and subscribe my video and share it to your friends thank you